Y'all y'all know my about. We just got some bad directions. And, and it was alright to have the Easter clothes and the Easter basket and it's alright to hunt for the eggs, but we really need to know the truth about it. Well, Thomas he, he said, no, he heard Jesus say that I'm going away and prepare a place for you. Thomas wanted one of them mansions, you know. So he wasn't like we. Thomas said, look here, Lord. We don't even know where you're going. How are we going to know the way? Huh? It, Thomas was serious. And that's a serious question for a lot of us. Because a lot of us really are banking on getting the help. And banking on getting one of them mansions. Because y'all know this is a real familiar scripture that we use all the time. Amen. When you go go to funerals, this is one of them scriptures that they that they read a lot. When, when, when people want to quote something about the good of God, they, they quote, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in my in me. In my father's house of many man. But I would not tell you so. I've heard people preach that same thing. Thomas said, Well Lord, I don't know where you're going. Huh? Amen. How many of y'all can say that today? I, I don't know where you're going. How am I knowing the way? Jesus said, I am the way. Yes. And someone said, yeah. But that ain't telling me nothing. I imagine Thomas was sitting up there feeling like that too, wasn't he? Because, you know, he doubted anything anyway. Folk told him that Jesus was the Lord. He said, yeah. <laughs> you got to show me. <laughs> Ain't that right? You, you ever say it, You know, uh, many times y'all have been to church, uh, whatever day of the week it's been on, whatever the occasion is, you come to church, and you came, and some preacher like myself, mostly probably better than me, the choir is sung, and the preacher get up and tell you about how you should live to get the help. How you are, what you got to do to be a Christian. Amen? And you are not convinced. And you want to know, yeah, you know, because we tell you, you know, one of them old stories we told when you become a Christian, everything going to be all right. Uh -huh. you, you remember that? that, that that's, that's that lie we tell. Everything going to be all right. Well, I don't tell people that when you become a Christian, everything going to be all different. You're going to be wrong. Satan don't want to let you go. And he, he, he's going to make things as rough for you as you can. Not, not only that. Not only that, your life has to change. If, if you want to be a Christian, you can't keep doing the same things that you always did. Amen. Your life got to become different. We say the man being Christ, he becomes a new creature. That all them old things and pass away. And you go home and you can still cuss like you always cuss. Uh, the same things that always made you mad make you mad. And when you read the Bible, you still don't understand what they're talking about. And they say you're supposed to be a new creature. And you just like Thomas. We, we don't know how to be no new creature. We, 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 we remind ourselves of Nicodemus. He didn't know either. Nicodemus, what Nicodemus say? Can I go back into my mother's womb and start all over again? He didn't know. And a lot of us don't know. Because when we go to church, the directions we got were not good directions. They told you how to be a good church member. Ain't that right? Yes. You know, we should not have to tell one another that we should pay tithes. All right. Amen. 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 That, that shouldn't even be in our vocabulary. We shouldn't be talking about, about paying no tithes. Because if we got to ask somebody to pay the tithes, then they got something wrong with their spirituality already. We should be dealing with the fact that they have not trusted God, that they have not given themselves over to God. We're giving folk wrong directions too. So all you got to do is join an auxiliary, pay your tithes, and you're going to be all right. And let me tell you, you can join an auxiliary, pay your tithes, and go to hell. All right. All right. Come on now. Yes. You can't pay your way into hell. Jesus has already made that way. That's what we celebrate today. Amen. The fact that he gives us a clear road to heaven if we follow the direction. Amen. Thomas was honest. He said, I don't know where you're going. Huh? 
Have you ever thought that about that yourself? Do you really know where Jesus is going? The, the fight that he's taken, are you willing to take it? What did he tell the disciples? Unless you eat of my flesh and drink of my blood, you can no wise enter the kingdom. You can't follow me. And they said many walked away and followed him no, no longer. Because they didn't understand that their lifestyle had to change. That, that, that they had to do something different. Thomas was honest, y'all. Don't get mad at Thomas. Thomas said, I don't know where you're going. You know, if 30 or 40, well, let me see if I don't want to go back too early. I want y'all to see how old I am. But if, if 30 years ago, I had admitted to myself that I didn't know Jesus or where he was going, I'd have been much better off. All right now. Because maybe, maybe if I was interested in being where he was, like he said, it, it, Jesus would comfort us and told us in my father's house some many mansions. And I believe he did that to get you excited about being with him. Yes. Amen. And, 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 and if you wanted one of the mansions, you're going to need to find the way to where Jesus is. Yes. And if you admitted that you didn't know the way, you'd be better off. Yes. Right. I think the church is full of folk today that don't know the way, but they won't admit it. So we go about trying to make our own way. We make our own rules. We say what we will do and what we won't do. Amen. We, we, we make up all kinds of stuff. The devil made me do it. And, 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 and they got on my last nerve. And, 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 and if they just wouldn't quit messing with me, I would be all right. And, and I'm only going to go when I want to go. And I'm only going to do what I want to do and make up the rules and say I'm as good as every year. Y'all don't believe people say that, don't you? They say it to me all the time. Come on now. All right. Huh? Jesus, Jesus said they said it to him, too. You know what he said? He said, how can you say you love me and you won't do what I say? And if you are my disciples... Why aren't you following me? You know, Jesus is saying, somebody lying in the truth. I ain't trying to bother nobody, but I want to preach a simple salvation message. To you. Jesus is telling us how to get to where he is now. If you're not interested in eternal life, if you're not interested in, 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 in having paradise, he on earth. Ain't that what you talk, told us on Friday night, Deacon? That, that we could have paradise right now. We think about paradise as later on, uh, but, but paradise in Christ is right now. What did he say to the thief? He said, today. He didn't say, when you die and get up again. He said, today you will be with me. In <laughs> if you're not interested in that, then what I got to say to you probably ain't going to mean much. Thomas said, I need some direction. Yes. What, 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 what Thomas said was, I need to know how to get there from here. Now, 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 now let me tell you something about direction. If, if you call somebody up and say, I'm trying to get down to the Marriott, first thing you need to know is where you are. Yes. Huh? Yes. First thing you got to know is where you are. You got to know where here is. You can't get there until you know where here is. So you know where you are. So it takes some kind of examination of yourself. The Bible says man should first examine himself. You need to take a look at where you are now. Now don't go comparing yourself to me. And don't go comparing yourself to somebody you know is worse than you are. You know that. A lot of times we do, we pick the baddest person we know, and we say, at least I'm not as bad as Carl. You know, I'm better than he is, so that makes me all right. Amen, amen. And, and, and a lot of us think we're pretty good, but, but I heard a man say not long ago, he said, there's some bad in the best of us and some good in the worst of us. So you need to know where you are. Uh, now, not in compared to me, but in compared to the word of God. 
yes. compared to Jesus. You want to be where he is. You need to know who he is and what he has already done for you. And when you can apply that to your own life, you, you have a chance to get some direction. Amen. Amen. I, I, I called a friend one time when I was in Dallas and trying to 